anti-Semitism, anti-descendants of Shem. Who are the descendants of Shem? What is anti-Semitism? Anti-Semitism, also spelled anti-Semitism or anti-Semitism, is hostility to, prejudice towards, or discrimination against Jews. A person who holds such positions is called an anti-Semite. Anti-Semitism is considered to be a form of racism. Anti-Semitism may be manifested in many ways, ranging from expressions of hatred of or discrimination against individual Jews, to organized pogroms by mobs or police forces, or even military attacks on entire Jewish communities. Although the term did not come into common usage until the 19th century, it is also applied to previous and later anti-Jewish incidents. Notable instances of persecution include the Rhineland massacres preceding the First Crusade in 1096, the Edict of Expulsion from England in 1290, the 1348-1351 persecution of Jews during the Black Death, the massacres of Spanish Jews in 1391, the persecutions of the Spanish Inquisition, the expulsion from Spain in 1492, the Cossack massacres in Ukraine from 1648 to 1657. Various anti-Jewish pogroms in the Russian Empire between 1821 and 1906, the 1894-1906 Dreyfus Affair in France, the Holocaust in German-occupied Europe during World War II, and Soviet anti-Jewish policies. Though historically most manifestations of anti-Semitism have taken place in Christian Europe, since the early 20th century anti-Semitism has increased in the Middle East. The root word Semite gives the false impression that anti-Semitism is directed against all Semitic people. Example including Arabs, Assyrians, and Arameans. The compound word antisemitismus, antisemitism, was first used in print in Germany in 1879 as a scientific sounding term for Judenhas, Jew hatred, and this has been its common use since then. Who are the Semites? The name Semite comes from Shem, the eldest of the three sons of Noah. In the Greek and Latin versions of the Bible, Shem becomes Sem, since neither Greek nor Latin has any way of representing the initial sound of the Hebrew name. The Bible tells us that everyone on earth was drowned except for Noah and his family, and that all mankind are descended from his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. The lines of descent from the three of them, described in the 10th chapter of Genesis, represent a kind of mythologized ethnology, enumerating the peoples of antiquity whose names were known at the time when this chapter was written, and setting forth the relationships between them. In later times the idea was widely adopted by Christians, and to a lesser extent by Muslims and Jews, that the three sons of Noah represented the eponymous ancestors of three major racial or linguistic groups. According to this interpretation, Ham was the ancestor of the dark-skinned peoples of Africa, Shem of the Hebrews and their various cognates, and Japheth the ancestor of the Medes, Persians, Greeks, and other peoples who, many centuries later, came to be known as Aryans. Noah's Three Sons the Table of Nations or Sons of Noah is an extensive list of descendants of Noah appearing in Genesis 10 of the Hebrew Bible, representing an ethnology from an Iron Age Levantine perspective. The significance of Noah in this context is that, according to Genesis, the population of the earth was completely destroyed during the flood because of the wickedness of the inhabitants, and Noah and his family were the sole eight survivors to continue the human race. The view of history presented by the Bible, is thus that all humans on earth, are descended from Noah's family, and thereby are related. A literal interpretation of Genesis 10 suggests that the present population of the world was descended from Noah's three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and their wives. Until the mid-19th century, this was taken by many as historical fact, and still is by many Orthodox Jews, Muslims, and Christians. There are disputes about how many of the peoples of the earth this story was intended to cover, and as to its accuracy. Many Jews, Christians, and Muslims retain the belief that the table applies to the entire population of the earth, while others read it as a guide only to local ethnic groups. In the biblical view, the listed children of Japheth, Shem and Ham, correspond to various historic nations and peoples. 
In the typical interpretation, these sons of No correspond to three races. European, Semitic, and African. Alternate divisions claim Euro-Asian Japheth, Semitic Shem, and Afro-Asian Ham. According to Genesis 10, Noah had three sons. Ham, forefather of the southern peoples, Hamitic, Shem, forefather of the middle peoples, Semitic, Japheth, forefather of the northern peoples, Japhetic Eurasia. Japheth. We decided to make Japheth the son who excelled in farming. He is adventurous and looks forward to the future. His wife, Rainy, is artistic and makes crafts. In her limited spare time, she enjoys sketching and painting the Ark animals. Shem. Shem's descendants included shepherds like Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, David, and eventually the Good Shepherd, Jesus Christ. As such, we depict Shem as the expert in caring for animals with a special interest in learning about God's truth. His wife, Ail, is a perfect match for him. She is intelligent, logical, and also enjoys studying. Ham. Noah was obviously gifted in construction, so we decided that this trait should be passed on to his youngest son. Ham enjoys building things with wood and metal, and he is the most ambitious of the sons. His wife, Kezia, is also a hard worker, and she is more interested than the other women in dressing up and looking her best. Ham was cursed to become slave of his brothers. The curse of Ham is described in the book of Genesis as imposed by the patriarch Noah upon Ham's son Canaan. It occurs in the context of Noah's drunkenness and is provoked by a shameful act perpetrated by Noah's son Ham, who saw the nakedness of his father. The exact nature of Ham's transgression and the reason Noah cursed Canaan when Ham had sinned have been debated for over 2,000 years. There are two different versions of beliefs on Shem's descendants. According to the Hebrew books, Shem is Asia, but some believes Asian are descendants of Japheth. According to this map, the Jews and Arabs are descendants of Ham. The Persian, Indian and Chinese are Shem. The European and Russian are Japheth. This is another map that shows the Jews and Arabs are descendants of Ham. Persian and Asian are Shem, and the European are Japheth. On this map only European and American are Japheth. The Middle East and Asian are all Shem. And every race on the South are Ham. On this version of map Shem is in Middle East, this shows the Jews and Arabs are Shem, not Ham like indicated in the earlier map, but European and Asian are all Japheth, different from the Hebrew books. If we go by the name of continent by the Hebrew books, Shem should be the Middle East and Asia, Ham in Africa, and only Japheth is in Europe. This is another version show that the largest part of Asia China is Japheth, same as European. And the Indian in Asia is Shem, same as the Jews and Arabs in the Middle East. On this map, Japheth became the largest world population, Shem reduced to only Middle East. Ham is African on this map, including the Indian. There is no one correct answer to these many theories of Noah descendants. The reasons to this many versions could be because of too many theoretical approaches from Noah's son's skin color to behavior. If we think Abraham and Jesus are the descendants from Shem, the Middle East should be Shem not Ham. If we believed Japheth was good at farming, we might think Asian farming cultures came from Japheth. If we believe all darker skins are descendants of Ham, we might include Indian as Ham, like it is shown on one of the map. But Indian food and costumes are more similar to the Middle East than Chinese, and the Chinese and the European are also very different, so they couldn't came from same ancestor.
For sure the European always knew they are from Japheth, or later came to be known as Aryans, that's why they could create anti-Semitism, or against the descendants of Shem or the Semites.